Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a mission bell colonnade. We're going to take two fingers in the center and put me a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw to the left a small curved line, go back to the dot, draw me a small curved line to the right. Right in the center, I'm going to go straight line, curved line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come back up to the top, and on the left, I draw one, two straight lines, jump over, one, two straight lines. From these straight lines, I'm going to go on the left and draw a curved line in and out, and on the right, a curved line in and out. I come back to the left, and I draw one, two, three straight lines, and then I draw a straight line down. And then I draw one, two straight lines, and then I draw a straight line down. And finally, I draw one, two straight lines, and a little bit towards the left, I draw a straight line, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop right about to the end. I come back up on the right, and I continue my straight line over, and right at the top, I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line. And on top of that, I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, connect. I come back on the right, and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down and a big straight line all the way down. I come back up on the top, and I'm going to draw one, two straight lines on the right, and now I'm going to come back and continue that line all the way down. I come on the inside, and I'm going to continue my openings. I go straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line up, over, straight line, connect. I come back on the right, I mean on the left hand side, I'm going to draw a larger opening, straight line up, curve line, straight line, straight line, connect. A smaller one, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. And now a wide one, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Inside each one of these spaces, I'm going to draw a little straight line, curve line, connect. Straight line up, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Larger one, straight line up, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, and straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. At the top, I draw the letter V, the letter V, the letter V, the letter V. Keep going. You're almost done. And then I draw two little straight lines to the side on each one. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, if you have room, you can add a little curved line at the base of each one of those spaces. So add your little curved line. Now, this project has a lot of floater lines. We're going to connect them all up right now. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw one, two, straight lines. And now I'm going to come down and I'm going to continue the line here. One, two on the left, jump over, one, two, jump over, one, two. I come down to my bigger space and I continue my line. One, two, jump over, one, two. And I'm going to add another straight line going all the way down. And I'm going to add a straight line connect on the right, straight line connect, straight line connect. 
Now I come all the way down to the center and I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line connect, and I'm going to mimic that line. Draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down. We can connect these at the bottom. And about three-fourths of the way I do a straight line and then I draw straight lines across the top. Draw another straight line across. Try and match up those straight lines again. A lot of lines, but you can do it. Okay? Now I'm going to put my base line, so I just draw a straight line to the left, straight line to the right. If it doesn't fit quite, hey, it's okay. Alright, I think now we're ready to color. Alright, to color my details, I'm going to use gray for these lines going across and around my door. Then I'm going to use tan for my actual mission. Now if you don't have tan, you can use just brown, just do it lightly. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to color the base down here light green. And then I'm going to come in and color all of these. These are my bells. I'm going to color these dark green because they're bronze. Then I'm going to color the little section, if you can, right here. These are the holders of the bells. These should be brown. And your door should be brown. And let's see. Oh, and because it's a colonnade, that means that the part you see behind the bell is open sky. So let's color that blue. And I'm going to color my background blue. And let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Mission Bell Colonnade all colored in. You can always cut these out and put them on a piece of railroad board or poster board to make them stiff and make them three-dimensional or pop in a pop-out. Okay, bye-bye.